today's world, you just don't know. So you do. You have to be mindful and watch where you're at. Tonight, concern and caution as the busy holiday shopping season now finally gets underway. In fact, tonight, our police are now on the lookout for a voyeur who was caught on camera preying on women in a downtown store. Our David McAnally tonight on what that man was doing and the steps some are now taking to avoid being a target. Andrew, we found women that we talked to just really irate about this, but also happy that the store security was watching those cameras real time. Around the circle, around the town, this shopping season, caution. I think that is absolutely crazy. Like, I think it's very perverted. She's talking about what happened inside the store downtown. A security guard watching store cameras spotted a man moving close behind women when he saw them in the aisle looking at merchandise. According to the police report, three times security noticed the guy on camera walking up next to a woman who was standing looking at merchandise. He would get up close, he would crouch down next to her with his cell phone at the ready. He appeared to shoot up the skirt images. After security saw it happen several times, they called police, but the man got away. I just think they're disgusting and unfortunately too much a sign of the times. These times of very small cameras and the very big internet porn business. In India in 2010, we told you about an accused voyeur at Castleton Mall who police say ran wires through his pants to his tiny shoe-mounted camera. Prosecutors had to drop the charges in that case, prompting a change in the law that made the definition of voyeurism also include looking up skirts in a public place. Then in 2011, another man used a shoelace camera while getting behind women on the Greenwood Park Mall escalator. Even with the law change, the peeping continues and continues to anger women. It makes you feel very violated. I mean, especially if you've asked someone not to film you, you know, and it's, it's just wrong. In another store, she's had an unwelcome experience of somebody, a pervert, she says, taking images of her. And what are they doing with this? I have no idea. I, 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 I can only imagine. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think that women should have to feel on their guard to go shopping. I think that's absolutely ridiculous. But she and other shoppers are on guard. Well, I do pay attention to if the same person is like walking behind me and I see them randomly somewhere else, that's when I pay more attention. Especially during the holiday season, so I know you have to be careful. The rules here are just like all the other shopping security rules. Watch who may be getting too close to you, who may be following you. If somebody is following you, report it. David McAnally, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.